Zara and Mike Tindall have been pictured for the first time since their baby news. The royal couple touched down on the Gold Coast after Christmas in Sydney. The 36-year-old granddaughter of the Queen is now expecting her second child. Accompanying expecting couple was their daughter, 3-year-old Mia Grace. Zara Phillips and her husband Mike Tindall have been seen for the first time since the couple announced they were expecting their second child. The Royal, her rugby player husband and their daughter Mia Grace touched down on the Gold Coast after spending Christmas in Sydney. The Queen is set to become a great-grandmother again twice this year after her granddaughter Zara announced that she and husband Mike were expecting their second child. Scroll down for a video of the 36-year-old looked radiant in a loose grey top which subtly framed her small baby bump as she strolled through the airport. She also opted for ultimate plain comfort in a pair of stylishly cut white shorts and white sneakers. Her sports star husband, 39, cut a similarly casual figure in a dark navy t-shirt and beige chino shorts. The couple brought along their first child, three-year-old Mia Grace, who is the fourth of the Queen's great-grandchildren, and 17th in line to the throne. Mia Grace trailed behind her mother, who is the only daughter of Princess Anne, riding an adorable scooter suitcase hybrid. The royal family were seen getting into a black car which was branded with the Magic Millions logo, a race day which will take place on January 13. Zara will give birth in the English summer, about three months after the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's third child is due, sources claim. With Prince Harry due to marry fiancé Meghan Markle on May 19 at Windsor Castle, it will be a joyous year for the 91-year-old Queen and her family. News of Zara's pregnancy came just over a year after the royal couple suffered the heartache of a miscarriage. At the end of November 2016 the couple said they were expecting a brother or sister for three-year-old Mia. But almost a month later, on Christmas Eve, they announced Zara tragically had lost the baby. It is believed she was around four months pregnant at the time. As a result, she missed the royal family's annual celebrations at Sandringham. Zara has not spoken publicly about the tragedy but former England rugby captain Mike Tindall later said, One thing you do learn is how many other people have to go through the same thing. The saving grace for us has been Mia however down we feel, she will come running up in our faces. The new baby, likely to be born in the same Cotswolds NHS hospital as Mia will not be given a title as both parents are keen for their children to have a normal upbringing. Zara and Tinda live with her mother, Princess Anne, on her Gatcom Park estate in Gloucestershire. The family are currently in Australia, where they have seen in Christmas and the New Year before attending the Magic Millions Horse Racing Carnival, which is staged on Australia's Gold Coast and begins this weekend. For a number of years Zara, a former world eventing champion and Olympic silver medalist, has been involved with the event which features thoroughbred sales, racing and polo matches. The Queen's granddaughter is patron of the event's Magic Millions Racing Women, an initiative promoting race horse ownership among women. Photographs taken of Zara out and about in Sydney over the past few weeks showed a clear hint of a baby bump, but the couple were not ready yet to announce their good news, a source explained.